What is up, guys? Today, we're going to be going over the best settings for Warzone slash Rebirth. Now, I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible, but I want to go through some stuff and break it down a bit. And as always, shout out to the Nodi Gang. If you want to be shout out on my next video, comment Nodi Gang down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. <laughs> Poor kid. Chat, what are you guys... What are you guys doing, chat? <laughs> Chill out, dude. It's a prank, dude. Benny the bot, oh, yeah. gifted the tier oh, one subs one. to the people who aren't gifted who aren't a sub. I kind of want my heartbeat now. Yo, Benny, thank you so much for the two gifted, brother. I appreciate you, go. Thank you so much, Benny. I love you. They gifted another sub. They gifted three. I've had three to the channel. One one sixty nine, Dylan. What's up? No. Centering got to be on point, chat. It says slap subterrain. You won't take us out. Somebody save the train. Oh. Wait. Ellie. Ellie and Crystal, thank you guys so much for the tier one. Give the subs. I appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing, man. Straight goats. Station costs are adjusted. UAV is out of fuel. 
You're a pussy, bro. No, you. Recon is on the way. UAV beginning flyover. Stimmy. What's going on, guys? How how are you guys doing, man? Best birthday ever. Hope you guys are doing okay. Awesome, you is. Enemy dropping into the AO. Recon is on the way. UAV beginning flyover. That's your sneaky ass. The sweaty guy low go real neil thank you for the tier one get this out let's go gas is closing in relocating the safe zone requesting area recon enemy soldier nearby uav getting fire victory is good now bro does it have something called a uav I don't know if these guys are both on the roof or they're like somewhere up here. And they're both on the roof. Only five left. We've got gas moving in. I can still get a 30 bomb. Objective failed. Target painted. Here comes the airstrike. Got your request. Must be the break is active. What's the area of recon? UAV getting flyover. <laughs> 100 off a UAV. I think he's the last guy, the sweaty kid that I've been fighting all game. Thank you, that guy. I appreciate you. There's a door. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Oh. <laughs> That's how you win the game, baby. We're going to go right away to the movement. That's the number one thing. Slide behavior on tap. This is going to allow you to slide cancel a lot easier and your movement is going to be better with sliding. Automatic sprint. Definitely want to have it on automatic tactical sprint. This is a huge thing. This will make your movement so much better. I know it's going to be a little weird to get used to if you've never had this on, but eventually you will get used to it. Automatic airborne mantle is a big one too. have this disabled. You're going to randomly jump on top of the stuff you don't want to jump on top of while you're fighting mid gunfights. Parachute auto deploy disabled. This will help you go lower to the floor and you can pop your parachute whenever versus 
versus it's popping you know as soon as it's like in a in a bad spot i mean hold to use this is kind of i don't know if this is default but you definitely want this disabled we're going to be going all the way down to armor plate behavior we're going to apply it all now if you don't know what this does basically if you're plating instead of plating one by one and holding triangle or whatever your plating button is it's going to continuously plate until you're full and you can just press triangle again or whatever your button is to disable it now let's go to the graphics settings so display mode full screen obviously i have an alienware monitor i got a 3090 screen refresh rate you always want to make sure it's at your highest uh, refresh rate sometimes it's not usually you want this on 100 that's usually your render resolution if it's lower or higher than that then that's kind of an issue you can play with a little bit higher but it will affect your fps dynamic resolution disabled have this on 10 aspect ratio automatic v-sync disabled this will kill your frames maybe cause lag i've had it on by accident before make sure you have this disabled in here and in your nvidia uh, control panel if you did not know that some people like to put this custom and you know like menu custom front um so your menu uh caps at 60 uh frames which is can be nice obviously uh so you're not you know you're when you're chilling in your menu your computer is not overworking for no reason i kind of have mine unlimited brightness is like a weird spot i think it's you should usually have it higher than 50 because it's kind of dark and you want to be able to see the dark spots and you know some of the characters are a little bit dark so you want to up your brightness a little bit obviously there's different variables you know your monitor brightness whatever you have your monitor on you have your nvidia control panel of brightness so you just gotta play with it obviously you want it higher make sure this is disabled and this one's a tricky one i would not recommend an enable boost i've talked to a lot of people about this you don't want this enable boost really it doesn't really do much and it kind of affects your computer in a negative way you should just do enabled or disabled field of view 120 and affected so this is gonna allow visual recall to be uh less and obviously you're gonna be able to see more camera movement make sure you have this at 50 percent you want this at the lowest stream quality normal texture resolution low texture filter and it's so tropic high particle quality high bullet impacts and sprays disabled tessellation disabled dismemberment disabled on demand texture streaming disabled these are big disables only one you can kind of keep on if you want to is this one the bullet impacts and sprays this doesn't really do much to your pc so you can kind of keep this on if you like seeing um your sprays and stuff filmic strength you want this on one film grain on zero that's huge and and video dlss disabled i like sma 22 tx um the other one i would recommend probably sma 1x depth of field disabled world merge motion blur disabled weapon motion blur disabled shadow map resolution low these you want to have these to enable it particle lighting low disable disabled disable these are big things as well this will destroy your frames for the interface i do like the trinotopia colorblind but you don't have to have this one on this is kind of just personal preference whatever you want for a little thing here on the mini map though so mini map you do want square you want the rotation enabled so it's going to allow you to see a little bit more of the mini map than a circle one and on top of it i play it on mine on 70 i like having my mini map a little bit closer to the middle of my screen so there's a sweet spot because when you have this your hud a little bit too close usually when words pop up like oh enemy streak inbound it basically also comes closer to the middle of your screen which is annoying so you usually got to find a sweet spot but the closer the mini map is the more easier it's going to be for you to like kind of like see it and like lock onto it versus like if it's all the way in the corner of the screen you gotta like you know stretch stretch your eyes more to like really see it so these are my audios master volume 100 music volume zero boost low 30 dialogue i obviously want to hear my guy talking but i don't want him to be too loud effects volume 35 i used to go like xlr so i can kind of mess up if i want mess with like if i want my volume a little bit higher than normal or a little bit lower than normal trigger on disabled hit markers classic mono disabled these are pretty much just some standard now the big one controller so i actually have some stuff i want to talk about here tactical flip default disabled 0.01 for your left stick obviously when you're you know for your moving stick you want it to be you know very very low dead zone almost none now right stick 0.05 is the default so stick drift is more common on this stick and it you know it, you can notice it because your character starts moving you know side to side whatever usually you're gonna have to up this sometimes if, if you have to go higher than 0.10 man it's gonna affect your aim a lot and at that point i would really recommend to get a new controller if you have to go like this like here like your aim is definitely gonna get worse because it's gonna be hard to do those little changes in the fight in the gunfights so i plan 0.05 you can lower it a little bit but don't go too low you're gonna notice stick drift 0 0.9 0 0.9 max input dead zone so this is very interesting i actually gave this a shout when i was competing in the pro league and it's very interesting to see you can definitely notice a difference and one thing i've noticed you definitely can shoot a little straighter when you lower this i feel like i've been beaming and i've been shooting very straight ever since i lowered this like i've always shot pretty straight but now i'm even shooting straighter i play on 7 7 i like custom zoom mainly because of sniper if there was a sniper i really wouldn't care my normal sense is 0.86 which is very close to 776 and then aim response curve type dynamic that's a huge one you definitely want this on dynamic everyone uses dynamic nowadays i don't know who uses standards when i was in the pro league i've said this so many times man 
97% of pros use dynamic. Maybe there's like a 2%, 3% that didn't, but almost everyone does. Like everyone. Gail aim assist with Apple V disabled. Now this is a big one. I've tested both of them for months I actually enabled scale aim assist and played over for like two months and i've noticed a difference where long range you feel like you can kind of shoot a little straighter but up close you notice a little loss in aim assist after using both of them i will recommend this disabled i i had it disabled for dansk as well because of everything i've heard and essentially you pull more aim assist when it's disabled especially close range you'll notice some crazy pulls this is a big one too user reload behavior contextual tap is a must this is uh life-changing versus tap to reload or tap to use or hold to reload hold to use you definitely don't want those all right guys so those are all my settings some of the best settings in the world i've had people from everywhere help me that with that i'm talking about like pc specialists uh, like i said I, i've looked into some some stuff what jay god said i've obviously been playing call of duty for like 10 years and i was a professional player so i have a lot of uh knowledge and you know good recommendations uh, so hopefully you know these settings are gonna make your your everything better just everything better your aim better your fps better your quality of the game better and i hope you guys really really um enjoyed this video man if you did make sure to like if this helped you out make sure to like subscribe to the channel for more content i'm going crazy i've been uploading a lot i really appreciate you guys man i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace